Hello friends. In this video, I will explain how you can consider effect of air drag on motion of a object. So this says a ball of mass m is thrown up with velocity v naught. Find the velocity with which the object or the ball will come down if the air drag on the ball is equal to k v square, where k is a constant and v is the instantaneous velocity. So what we have, we have a ball and this ball is thrown in the upward direction with velocity v naught. Let's say this is the plane from where it is thrown. What will happen? This ball will go up but it will, its velocity will decrease and finally at certain point of time this block will come this ball will come into rest after that it will start moving in the downward direction its velocity will increase and it will increase and it will cross this level at certain point of time so we have to find what is the velocity when this crosses this level so let's say if this ball goes to a height h then we have to find what is the velocity in the returning journey and you have to also consider effect of air drag and the air drag is given by k v square so let us try to solve this problem so basically you have two motion first is upward motion so let us consider upward motion. So what is happening if you see at any point of time on this ball what are the forces that is acting? One force that is mz is acting. And since this ball is going in the upward direction air will try to resist its motion. So this means there is a force that is in the downward direction due to air and this force is given by k v square and let us say at this point of time velocity is v. So we can write equation of motion that is second law. So we can write forces. Force is in the downward direction but ball is moving in the upward direction. So we can say forces are negative. So minus mz minus k v square is equals to mass times acceleration and acceleration I can write dv by dt so if I divide by mass I can write dv by dt is equals to minus z and this is minus k by m v square or if I take minus sign common so this will become g plus k by m and this is v square now let us make a change of variable what we what we want to find we want to find height what is the maximum height that it will go and then it will start a downward journey so we'll make a change of variable so what we will do is we will divide by dx and we will multiply by dx and let us say x coordinate is in the upward direction so x coordinate is in the upward direction so dx by dt is nothing but v so we can write this expression as v dv by dx is equals to minus z k by m v square now we can integrate this expression so if you see we can write v dv divided by g plus k by m v square and this is equals to minus dx I can integrate this expression. Now here you see this term that is in the denominator we need to make a change of variable. So let us say we make a change of variable. So z is equals to g plus k by m v square. So if I differentiate I will have dz is equals to k by m 2 v dv or in other word we can say vdv is equals to m by 2k times dz. So let us plug this value and then we can do integration. So we will have vdv is nothing but m dz 
and this divided by m by 2k into dz and this divided by this whole term in the denominator is simply z and this is minus dx. So if you integrate this we can write m by 2k that will come outside and dz by z is nothing but ln z and this is simply x. Now what will be the limit? Initially it starts from here that is at x equals to 0 and this goes to a height x is equals to h and what is velocity? Initial velocity is v naught and finally it comes to rest so this means final velocity is 0. So we can plug the limit so this is m by 2k ln z and we can basically put x in place of z so x we can write so uh, in place of z we can write v so basically change a variable so this will be g plus k by m v square and this is equals to minus x so x will go from 0 to h and v will go from v naught to 0. So we will have m by 2k and this is ln z simply this term will be z because v is 0 and this minus ln g plus k by m v naught square and this is simply minus h. So ln a minus ln b is simply ln a by b so we can write z divided by g plus k by m v naught square and let us say we can absorb the minus sign inside the log so we can write ln g plus k by m v naught square divided by z is equals to 2kh by m or simply if we want to write h, h will be m by 2k because we need h and ln if I divide by z so this will become 1 plus k by mz v naught square. So this is the height that ball will attain. So maximum height this ball will attain is this much and after that it will start it will come to rest and it will start a downward journey. So now let us see what are the forces that is acting in the downward journey. So ball is coming in the downward direction so velocity is v but the air will try to oppose this motion. So this time kv square will act in the upward direction. mg will act in the downward direction and the motion is in the downward direction. So we can write Newton's second law. So let us say now we can study about downward motion. So this time what you will have mg is in the downward direction kv square is in the upward direction. So we are considering downward direction as a positive direction because motion is happening in the downward direction that's why we have considered downward direction as a positive direction is equals to m dv by dt and as I said earlier we have to change the variable. So this will be dv by dx into dx by dt and dx by dt is nothing but simply v. So we can write this m v dv by dx. We can cancel out mass so we can write v dv by dx is equals to g minus k by m v square. Once again we have to do integration so we will have so we can write this integration dx and this is v dv divided by g minus k by m v square. Once again we have to do change of variable so z let's say z is equal to g minus k by m v square. So dz will be minus k by m 2 v dv. Or in other word we can write m, m by 2kv 
with a uh, m by 2 k simply with a minus sign is equals to v dv. So we will use this. So if you plug this here, so dx, dx will as it is and v dv is nothing but minus m by 2 k and this will be there should be a dz also. So there is a dz. So this is m by 2k minus sin dz and this is in the denominator is simply z. So from here we can write dx is equals to minus m by 2k dz by z and if I do integration so this will be x and this side will have minus m by 2k and dz by z is simply ln z and z is nothing but so we can write we can replace minus m by 2k and z is what z is z minus k by m v square so this is z minus k by m times v square what will be the limit so initially ball is a starting at a height of h so initially this is a starting at height of h initial velocity is 0 final velocity we have to find let us call this as v so final velocity is v that we have to find and and height will be h so in this case it has a started from zero height because downward journey we have considered from here so it has started from zero height and it also has started from zero velocity and then after certain height h this side we know velocity is v. So let us put this here. So x from 0 to h and velocity goes from initial velocity is 0 and the final velocity is v. So this will be h is equals to minus m by 2 k ln and this is g minus k by m v square and this minus ln z. So if you use the property of log you will have h is equals to minus m by 2k and this is ln and a by b so 1 minus k by mz times b square. So this is the height. Now h we already know so if you remember we have h so we can plug the value of h. So we have the value of h so h value we already calculated in the first part that was m by 2 k and this is ln 1 plus k by m z v naught square. So this was the value of h this is equals to minus m by 2 k and ln 1 minus k by m z times v square. So we have to calculate v from here m by 2 k m by 2 k cancels out. And then if you take ln a plus b is simply ln a into b so it will this will be 1 plus k by mz v naught square times 1 minus k by mz v square is equals to 0. This means this term has to be 1 because ln 1 is equals to 0. So this means 1 plus k by mz v naught a square times 1 minus k by m z v a square is equals to 1. So we have to solve for v here. So let us take this term this side. So we will have 1 plus or we can basically multiply also. So if we simply take LCM and multiply we will have m z plus k v naught a square mg minus kv square is equals to m square z square. Now let us multiply this so you will have m square z square and then plus mz kv square and then you will have mz kv not a square and this will be minus k square v square v not a square is equals to m square z square. So m square g square gets cancelled. So now we are left with if you take b square term one side. 
so i will have bs square mzk and this is minus k square v not square and this plus mzk v not square and this is equals to 0 so this means you will have v square is equals to mzk v not square and this divided by i have changed the sign because if it goes opposite to the equal to sign it will be negative minus basically there will be a minus sign here so this is mz multiplied by minus kb square so this sign will be minus mgk and then this goes here so this will become plus mgk this is plus mgk so from here you can calculate velocity so velocity will be if you take a square root of this then this will be velocity so v naught divided by a square root 1 plus and this k cancels out so we can write v naught square v naught square divided by mz by k so this is the final velocity now you see one important point this term is greater than 1 this term is always greater than 1 because this is 1 plus something so this means this velocity is a smaller than v naught so in this in other word we can say in the returning journey the velocity will reduce so this is important point and this is because of the air drag if you don't have air drag this will not happen so i hope you enjoyed this video and if you enjoy please share with your friends and like this video and uh, subscribe to my channel thank you